Travelport SmartPoint evolves the GDS experience with a clever mix of native and point-and-click navigation, smart screens, and graphical user interfaces to guide you through the most efficient booking processes. This recording will show you how to sign in and navigate the feature-rich content available to you in Travelport SmartPoint. Let me start by showing you how to sign in. Travelport SmartPoint automatically launches when you open Galileo Desktop. The graphical sign-on box is immediately displayed. The action of signing on to Travelport SmartPoint will also sign you into Galileo Desktop. Simply enter your sign-on code and your password into the boxes and either click OK or press the Enter key. Using this graphical method, there is no need to add any entry code. If you prefer to use cryptic or native entries, you can close this box using the cross in the top right. If you are required to emulate, the emulation box is launched, where you enter the pseudo city code you want to work in. Click the cancel button if you do not want to emulate. If you check the do not display box, it will not be displayed again. Once you've signed on to Travelport SmartPoint, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control and F12 to switch to and from Galileo Desktop if required. If Travelport SmartPoint has been closed, you can relaunch it by clicking the Travelport SmartPoint icon from the Galileo Desktop Custom Toolbar. This icon appears on the toolbar when Travelport SmartPoint has successfully been installed. Once you have signed into Travelport SmartPoint, you will see the terminal window on your right in which you can enter cryptic formats and view the responses. Shown above the terminal window is the menu bar. To the far right, beside the terminal window, are the terminal window icons comprising of Quick Commands, which is a quick way to access several productivity tools with an easy to use interface that will quickly accomplish complex and time-consuming cryptic tasks. Included in Quick Commands are the legacy relay tools. Replay stores your previous commands. Select the command and click the send button. This is the print icon. Clicking on this icon supplies you with different options to capture the data shown in the terminal window. Lower down you will find other icons covering queue functionality, configuring quick commands, and smart panel. The functionality available from these icons is also available from the tools drop down menu. Also available from the tools menu is a calculator and also the calendar. This interactive calendar allows you to search and shop for flights, hotels and car rental with one single click. This will be illustrated in later recordings. Checking the Open on Startup box means the calendar will launch immediately on Startup. To add more terminal tabs, click the plus icon. To close, click the cross. To split the terminal tab, Click the arrows to the far right and then click again to return to the full screen. These features allow you to conduct several searches at the same time whilst retaining all the information. These and other options are available from the Terminal drop-down menu item where all the keyboard shortcuts are also shown. The History drop-down menu item allows you to review the previous terminal responses. You are able to retrieve up to five previous responses. Once again, the keyboard shortcuts are shown. The Help menu item gives you access to the user guides for both Travelport SmartPoint and eNet Virtual Account Number and also provides a link to Ask Travelport. To check which version of Travelport SmartPoint you're running, click About. Refer to the configuration recording for details on the application and window menu items. The search menu item accesses the graphical fill-in format to request up-to-date interactive availability, rates and fares, and the cell menu item performs the direct segment and passive cell entries in an easy-to-use graphical display. These will be covered in later recordings. To the left of the screen is the PNR viewer window. 
This automatically refreshes the booking you are currently working on. The Auto Refresh feature can be disabled from the terminal drop-down, along with other options, such as hiding the PNR Viewer window. Shown below are the PNR Viewer window icons. To illustrate, let me show you the Recent PNRs icon first. This displays a list of recently viewed reservations. This is also available from the Tools drop-down menu item. Simply select the required booking in the list and double-click. Click the Find icon to launch a search panel to search for content in a booking. The Edit PNR icon gives you access to the fill-in format screens to enter data into a booking. This is also available from the PNR drop-down menu. The Tools icon allows you to configure the fields shown in the PNR viewer window. All the fields with a check mark will automatically display. Unchecking the boxes excludes the field from the display. The Single View mode excludes all of these fields and the Show buttons at the top moves the display buttons to the top of the PNR Viewer window. The Refresh icon refreshes the view of the PNR. Use the slider in the Font Size icon to adjust the size of the font in the PNR Viewer window. Click the Advertisement icon to display current adverts. Similar to the print icon available in the terminal window, this supplies options available to you for the PNR viewer window. Like Galileo Desktop, Travelport SmartPoint also offers five work areas. These are listed at the top of the PNR viewer window. The work area you are currently in is highlighted in white. To access another work area, simply click on a letter. Here, I have gone into Area B, the Emulation Message Displays, because of my client ID. You may not receive this. Notice that the system has made the cryptic entry for me. You may continue to use the cryptic entries as well. The area I was previously in is now underlined in blue. This indicates I have signed into that area, but that it does not contain an active reservation. If the work area contains an active reservation, it is underlined in orange and when you hover your mouse over the work area, a thumbnail appears showing what the reservation contains. To sign out of Travelport SmartPoint, use the cryptic entry SOF. You can close Travelport SmartPoint by clicking the cross shown in the top right hand corner or by clicking the application drop down menu and selecting Quit application.